You this are watching the Carlisle's Picks Technology Channel. Tech, stand up on the top of the phone like the Droid Razor. One, two, three. If you look at the other side of the keyboard. This is CP Tech. So, right now, there's a little bit of insanity going on between myself and Boost Mobile. I recently purchased a hotspot, mobile hotspot, and this you should really watch this video of on my main channel to kind of introduce you to the beginning of, of this whole nonsense. Well, basically, I purchased this hotspot, and as you can see, it says on the screen right there, it says 9.5 gigabytes. Now, I just paid for, it's a month-to-month -month deal, I just paid for this month. It should not be showing 9.5 gigabytes. And the people, the support team are so incompetent, they actually suggested that I actually may have used up my data within a week or something like that. I this mean, this is a demonstration of wire. I didn't really do the math on it, but the amount of time it would take, considering how slow the connection is, for me to download 9.5 gigabytes in a week, I mean, that'd be pretty, pretty drastic. Not saying it's impossible, but that's a little bit of a stretch. I mean, you're talking about sitting there downloading. I don't know, crazy amount of data all day. And again, I don't care how much data you want to download. You're limited by the speed of the connection, right? So um, depending on your reception and all kinds of different details. So even if you try to say you're going to download um, videos all day long or something like that. of Wirecast. Again, um, you got to look at how many bytes per second that the device is capable of sustaining based on the, the connection speed and things like that. But regardless, that's not what the problem is, right? I just paid for it. I barely used any. It's already saying 9.5. That's because of it's showing the usage from last month and and this month as well. It did not reset. It should go to zero when I paid. That did not happen. So like a very simple problem. It should be very easy to solve. But for some reason, this has been an ongoing saga. Uh, it's this going on two is a weeks now. Of and back and forth. I mean, watch the other videos. Watch like this video will explain a lot of this stuff. I'm just repeating that stuff right now. So let's let's move on to where we are now. So what is the latest update with the Nightmare with Boost Mobile, which is also part of Sprint? I guess Sprint is the parent company. Well, here's the latest. I tweeted about this whole thing. And here's my tweet. Let me zoom it in so you can actually potentially read this. This is a demonstration of Wirecast. Okay, so let's slide this over. Slide it on over. All right, that should be everything. So basically, if you scroll down here, I believe you should see the beginning of this conversation. So I tweeted, I think I'm going the wrong way, man. It starts from the top. I don't know what kind of order this is exactly. This there is a go. demonstration this is, this is what I of Wirecast. 23 hours ago. How many weeks am I going to have to be without service? Hashtag Boost Mobile, crap sucks, Instagram. Instagram should be the photo of the device, I believe. No, there's a video that I did. This is a big problem, you might ask. Well, for some reason, they have not been able to reset my data usage from last month. So it's showing that I've exceeded my data usage when I haven't even started using any data this month because it's not reset. Seems like a okay, so that's the video that I posted. This um, is I did it at Boost Mobile, Wirecast. and it was cross-posted to Twitter. So Twitter also got it, and that's why it shows up here. Um, so I got a response. This is 23 hours ago. I did that four hours ago. So I guess that's 20, 20, about 20 hours from when this happened. Um, and I got this response. It says, hi. Are you a Boost Mobile customer in need of assistance? If so, I'm happy to help. Alejandra. Oh, thank you, Alejandra. This is a demonstration of You are so wonderful, Alejandra. Uh, I've had no engineer for two weeks, and it appears nobody's working on it. Nobody calls me, and I've spent three hours on the phone with other characters. What are the exact issues you're having with your data? What errors are you having? Alejandra. Alejandra. Oh, you're so great, Alejandra. Simple problem. My data usage did not refresh when I paid, so now I'm uh, being refused service because I'm over my data usage limit. Okay, simple enough. 
feel this free to send a us a direct message for further Wirecast. assistance. Ah, now that we've let the public uh, get the appearance that you care because he responded to me publicly. Oh, look at Boost Mobile. They care about their customers. Isn't that nice? Now she wants to go to DM to give me the real deal. Where is she? Stay with me to find out. So, um, I switch over to direct messaging. Direct messaging active! Beep, 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 beep. This is a demonstration okay, of Wirecast. I know I sound really happy for someone who's had without internet, been without internet for two weeks, but life is too short, man. It is frustrating, and it's a really, 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 really bad timing because I'm doing a review um, on an electric cargo bike. This is out on a bicycle path here. So we've essentially got a highway. Now there's highway for cars I'm be too. doing some really long distance trips and I need navigation. I need this data so I can do navigation and social media so people can track my journey. I'm gonna be this riding from New York City to Stanford, Connecticut to Long Island, um, going really, really far and pushing the limits of the technology. I, I, I must have this data. So this is really, really awful timing. But again, life is too short. Me getting frustrated is not going to help the situation, so don't let my uh, jovial nature fool you. But this is this is frustrating and this is really really bad. All right, here's a post relevant to the review I'm doing. But anyway, uh, da -da, da, two weeks. Da -da, okay, this I thought it was a direct messaging. Well, where's the direct cast. messaging, man? This is not direct messaging. Those are all my tweets. There we go. Direct messaging. All right. Can you reset my data usage or increase my limit so I can use my internet uh, while the escalation team does whatever they are doing for two weeks? Yeah, because I talked to support. Support was really incompetent. They escalated to the escalation team, whatever that is. I think everyone's this in Mexico, is a according to what I was told. Of Wirecast. Um, and that's who's supposedly working on it. But they don't call me back. I keep calling. They're wasting my time sucks anyway uh, da, 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 da. I'm sorry but we are not able to provide more data or reset data services all we can do is review your account may I have your phone number and pin so I already, I already wasted three hours going back and forth every time you call they want your pin number and they want this number and that number and hold and connect you to this thing and this it's is a pain in the ass but and I get disconnected cast. so many times it's so frustrating <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. Um, no, but seriously, it's a pain in the butt. Every time I call, it's so you go into the menu and the buttons and everything, and I got disconnected like three or four different times, and they never call you back. I, they have your number. The call gets disconnected. Why don't you call me back, Boost Mobile? Ah! Okay, I don't know what that was. I'm like a dead chicken or something. <sighs> I this is a demonstration. Anyway, I'm sorry, but cast. we're not able to provide data. All we can do is the map phone number. Okay, if you can't reset my data, then how can you help me? I'm 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 done with this. I'm like, look, if you're gonna help me out, then you can help me out. Don't play like you're gonna help me out, right? I need to know if you're the person who can help me out. Otherwise, I don't want to waste my time. I've been through this already. You call up and oh, we're gonna look into it. We want to check your case notes, and it goes nowhere. So I don't really want to talk to anyone who can't fix the problem. That's my attitude right now. If you can't if you can't reset my data, uh, then how can you help me? The escalation this team is, is already supposed to be working on this. What team cast. are you on? What location? I want to know who it is I'm talking to and what they're capable of doing. We are Boost Mobile Social Media Department, and we are located in the USA. Just like in Mexico, they don't want to tell you what city they're in. I asked specifically what city, and I for security reason we cannot tell you where we are. Same thing in the USA. Why did I say like the USA? Whatever. Same thing in America. They uh, oh, they hate when we do that. Uh, when you say America, you know, there's North and South America, you know, when you say America referring to the United this States, is a demonstration this is only of America Wirecast. and everything else is something else. Um, North America. It's in North America, but they don't, want, they don't want to tell us where exactly in North America. They just say USA. Anyway, moving along, can you get in contact with the department who manages the team in Mexico? I spoke to Daniel, who is a tech supervisor in Mexico. Daniel, what are you doing? Daniel's the guy who refused to give me a call back. I tell him, 
Okay, you're gonna this escalate this thing. Can you promise me a callback? Oh, I can't promise they're gonna fix. I didn't ask you that. I said, can you promise to call me back? I am not gonna necessarily be the guy who. Da, da, da. Okay, you don't work alone. So is there a reason why you can't talk to one of your colleagues and have them call me back? I don't see any reason why, as long as these guys are in business, why they cannot guarantee me a call back. Either this guy calls me back, or he has one of his colleagues call me back. As long as their phones are working and they're in business, there's no reason why someone can't call me back. This is a demonstration of Problem's not resolved, we're still working cast. on it, but I just needed to call you to let you know that we're still working on it, we still value your business, and we're taking this seriously. Right? I do that all the time for my clients. Why can't they do it for their clients? Okay. Anyway, uh, so Daniel tells me his boss is Gisela. Of course, I only get a first name, and it only they only say Mexico. I don't know where in Mexico, whatever. Um, Gisela, but she uh, did not call me. So she's supposed to call me back in 72 hours. It's been over a week. What's up, Gisela? Why don't you call me back? This guy is a supervisor for support. Gisela is supposed to be his supervisor. He doesn't call me back. She doesn't call me back. Nobody calls me back. Nobody cares. Okay. Uh, I need to talk to a person who has the power over the support team and can make them do their jobs. I think that's fair enough, right? Okay. Then she says, I'd first need to access your account this in order to review your account. This is a demonstration of Wirecast. Notes. What can you do, though? I want to be very clear. I don't want to waste my time. If you can't fix the problem, I don't want to waste my time with you. Right? I'm not trying to be a jerk. I just already wasted three hours. Time is money. I don't have time to waste. All right? So if you can fix my problem, fix my problem. Otherwise, I don't want to waste my time talking to you or dealing with you. All right? It may seem like I'm giving a hard time, but again, I've already dealt with other people back and forth, supervisor, supervisor, this other supervisor, and going nowhere. Wirecast. I want to put an end to that train ride. Train wreck. What can you do, though? What authority do you, do you have? I already wasted three hours on the phone going nowhere. Everyone wants to look at notes, but nothing gets done. I don't want to waste my time again if you're just social media and cannot alert the appropriate parties. Our department has direct access to many different other higher up departments. I cannot inform you what I can do if I cannot access your account to review it as I do not this know is what is the other department Wirecast. doing. Nice grammar there, Alejandra. So, I give the account details, which I do not want to put in my stream. I don't know if that will do anything, but when you're dealing with internet stuff, it's be best to be better safe than sorry. Um, so... This is a demonstration Okay, so I just got a Wirecast. response back wanting to know when did the issue start. I'm going to say uh, this was about two weeks ago. So consider the fact, can't you tell why do you not know the details this is a demonstration of wirecast okay so i can show you this now hopefully so here is so she just asked you 17 minutes ago when did so i gave her the account information she says when did the issue start i don't know why she needs that information i gave her my account information so she should be able to look it up and it should show her exactly how long this has been going on if anything, she may want to confirm what the notes say, but she's just asking me how long it's been going on like she doesn't know anything. And that's a typical thing. This is when you call, the, the people on support cast. don't even know what type of service you have, which is ridiculous. Every time I call, they think I have a phone. They're asking me questions about your phone. Is the internet the only problem you have? That's what they say. Is your internet the only problem that you have? And I keep insisting to them, I only have internet. I don't have any other services. So everything doesn't work because the only thing I have is internet that's it I don't have phone service or anything 
right? I keep telling them, I don't have a phone. 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 Over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And they keep wanting to know about my about my phone. Is uh, how is uh, can uh, texting is texting working? How do you text with a mobile hotspot? I'm sure there's some way through your Android internet, blah blah blah. But I know what they mean. They think it's a phone. It's not a phone. I know there's a phone number. I think for every type of service they offer, they associate it with a phone number. This is it's a just like I have internet at home with the cable company. And they give me a phone number. But I don't have any phone service. There's no number to call. It's just essentially an account number. I think there's more to it than that, but there's no actual phone. And this is a very simple concept. I don't know why. Every time I call, round and round in circles. A normal company in 2015, you pull up a customer's account information, and it says right there the type of account and the type of services that the customer has. What kind of company in 2015 does not this is, is a not capable of, of Wirecast telling what kind of service a customer has? I mean, how can you not know that? That's critical information. Anyway, so that's where we're at. No response back yet. Um, any further developments on this nightmare, I will certainly let you guys know. And again, stay tuned for my electric cargo bike review and my spicy hashtag spicy adventures NYC. This is a demonstration crazy of Wirecast. On electric cargo bike. Take a look. I don't know what you can see. There's the highway right there. There's a lot of traffic over there, so that's not exactly any kind of a trick or escape from you know traffic in the city. So this is a unique option for me to be able to come out here and essentially non-stop full speed go downtown. Now right now I am doing about this 23 is a miles per hour. Of Wirecast. Not really taking a lot of effort. We're in actually actually I forgot something. I took a look at the Boost Mobile social media account to see what they're talking about with other people. Oh, I got some bass going there. So, they followed me so that, so that I can direct message them in private. This is a demonstration of Wirecast. Hey, Jenny Pop 879 How can we help you today? Why are they asking her that? Uh, does it show the conversation? Not this particular one. Details? Eh. Hmm. 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 Not sure, because it says Jenny Pop, and then down here it says somebody else. I don't know. Twitter's kind of weird. Anyway, this see what it says here? Demonstration of Wirecast. You can help by not lying to your customers and by calling them back when you ask for, when they ask for, and by not being a crap company to start. Notice the pattern here. Same thing with me. Actually refusing to give me a call back. That seems to be standard operating procedures for Boost Mobile. So if you're considering getting Boost Mobile, consider this. Or any experience you have had that caused you to feel this way. What was that? Um, this is a demonstration of Wirecast. I'm reading this in the wrong order. Sorry about that. I think I'm noobing out here. Misinformation. Thank you for explaining this. You are just being honest. That's to David Kane. Misinformation, my assignment, you claim that your service is 4G LTE. Whenever I ran a speed test, I was getting 6 megabits down, 3 up. Let's see some other replies. Call to fix something that I thought was taken care of because you this guys told me it was. I was never Wirecast. use your. I'll never use your crap company again. You do not have a car, current account. No, I dropped you after three months. That's how much you idiots pissed me off, and I refuse to sit back and let you lie to the innocent. You and your Sprint need to just stop lying. Start being honest with your customers, like T-Mobile does every month. I have to. Forgive me for being blunt, but any idiot with a brain knows that 3D speed, if even that, 
knows that's 3G this speed is a even that. That's not misinformation, that's fact. Wow. Wow. So I am just one of many. Thank you for explaining this. You're just being honest. Aww. Who's mobile care is so understanding, aren't they? Okay, I'm lost in this Twitter maze here. Where's can we see some more stuff? Is that it? Why why did I only see these? This is a demonstration like, of wirecast. I've never used Twitter before. What can I help you today? Were you having issues purchasing a Samsung Galaxy S4? Anything I help you with today? Oh cool, you're very welcome. You will need to wait for a response to get a status of your referral. In order for me to be responding, you need to follow us back. <laughs> now I know, I know that to do like direct messaging, you need to like follow each other. But I need to stop saying like, 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 like. I hate people who say like, like, like all the time. But this um, is a demonstration. Are they, of are they secretly trying to get more followers? <laughs> oh man, that'd be hilarious. In order for me to respond to you, you need to. How can I assist you today, Mirella? <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a card attached to your Boost Mobile account? Oh man, I hope they don't put the credit card numbers on this public thing. We would hate to see you leave. We would like the opportunity to look into this once more, making sure. <laughs> oh, I don't believe that. Um, what type of plan do you have? We'd be glad to check this out. I don't know. This is a demonstration ah! from Wirecast. Somebody's got 10G like me. Let's see. We offer 10G at 55. That's my plan to view. That's you're using. How much? Uh, wait a minute. Is someone having a problem like I'm having? Hello, please let us know if you have any questions or concerns regarding our service. Smiley, Sarah. Hey, Sarah, how you doing? Whatever. We have everything. Uh, what is she saying? View. So she's just telling them how to view their data. This is a demonstration uh, of Wirecast. Yeah, but well you have to pay some uh, when you. Uh, I don't know, guys. I really don't know. This is getting really annoying, really frustrating. I'm I'm thinking about getting other options, but um, considering that one of the missions of my channel is to help out consumers and and help you guys find good products, I really didn't want to go the route of of um, talking bad about any companies. So the very this fact that I'm talking about this is showing how Wirecast. bad they really are and how frustrated I really am because there's certainly been other companies that I definitely didn't like and I kept my mouth quiet. Um, one of the things I'm sensitive to is, you know, maybe I'm having a bad experience and it's unique to me. Things happen. No company's perfect. So it's kind of dangerous when you get into any kind of bashing type of videos. But, you know, I'm hearing a lot, a lot of stories about Boost Mobile and apparently also Sprint. So, I mean, we're looking at the social media right here. It's all right in front of us. So um this is a demonstration it looks like of this is a really big issue for a lot of people. And if I can help to spread the word and to deal with this somehow, get them to mend their ways or or something. I don't know. Either put them out of business or get them to just to, to straighten up, then um you know that that's that's something I'd be willing to do. I'd be glad to do. So I'm going to certainly try to take advantage of this situation. I mean, it sucks. The timing is really bad. I may need to find another solution in the meantime because I do need my data. This but is a demonstration of Wirecast. I do want to Wirecast. go through this entire journey and document it for you guys to see exactly how Boost Mobile operates. Um, yeah, maybe somebody can avoid getting the same uh, situation that I ran into. All right, guys. You are watching your Fast Life car channel. <laughs> no, wrong chat. I got too many channels. You're watching the Carlisle's Fix Technology channel. And I'm. Oh, tribe. This is a demonstration of. You're watching Carlisle's Fix, and we're here live in New York City doing a speed test with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8.4. In this test, I'm just going to be basically trying to showcase the performance of this device. I'm CP Tech. Thank you for watching and definitely subscribe.